This may look like the James Webb telescope, as the mainstream media would lead you to believe, but it also might be a death ray gun to fight off the aliens that are coming. <laughs> as all the observers would lead you to believe. <laughs> so this was one of the first times that I actually was so interested in the thing that I became interested in the person. Like, you know how you deciders talk about that? You're like, yeah, yeah, cool thing. Who's the person behind it? I tracked down the person behind this program. Yes. And it's really cool to see. He's just like the chillest guy ever. So I'll get to him in a second. Okay. Let me, let me just show off the ray gun here. So there it is flying through ray space. Ray gun. We're calling it a ray gun. <laughs> here it is uh, compared to the old space bazooka. This is the outdated one. <laughs> I love intuition. Aliens were not afraid of that. They could fly right past it. This one, they can fucking zone in on it. Pictures. So this is the new one. This is the old one. And they're just getting it warmed up, I guess. They're, okay. they're, they're dialing it in. They're, they're, they're working on it. It's surprisingly going good. They said it's almost like nearly perfect. Okay, as far before, as the launch and setting it up and it working. Because they're worried about it just fucking up all along the way. Before you move on, how much more did this cost? to do this? Uh, it was originally supposed to be, you know, like less than a billion. It ended up being, I think, over 10 billion, something like that. Oh, it, no big deal. Yeah, but it was like the, the, the project director guy, uh, he talked about it. He's like, yeah, technology. Because they started it in 1996. Damn. And this guy took it over in 2018. It was having a hard time. And then once he took it over in 2018, he was able to kind of move it along and then get it done. So here's some more pictures of uh, before and after. Before and after, okay. Yeah, and just, just, to, just to realize that there's, there's planets being created right now. I thought it was done <clears throat> and completed. Little civilizations are starting up and ending. And So uh, one thing they tell you if you're working in satellites is don't fucking touch the stuff. Like you leave your <laughs> fingerprints on it, your disc, and the first thing Brenda's doing is fucking touching it. <laughs> but at least she's touching the fucking old one. You can touch the old one. It looks like a CD drive, you know, a ROM there. <laughs> Yeah, so so each one of these is individual mirrors that they all uh, uh, triangulate. So the the big wow. story is uh, the logistics of what hit me. I guess is like S E demon. Like, Whoa. how the hell did you physically? The pathways. This the... is a great illustration of pathways. Very much so. Very much so. Because the sensory fuck off of like they had to fill every pothole and move traffic lights of like you know they're shipping these things the parts and the whole thing. Oh yeah, because the traffic's like oh would be too low. Yeah, and they they ship it all the way down what to the they hell? they launch it from South America on Christmas Day. And, like, That's actually really smart. Yeah. Well, which part, Christmas Day or South America? Well, the <laughs> in case it blew up. <laughs> Oh, they don't get sued. It's in South America. Who's going to sue you? Fuck those guys. Yeah. Uh, so here they are just uh, being guys, loading it up, uh, yeah. being muscular, being, you know, cool. Just <laughs> Why is that the first thing you see? I am not even, in this photo, just, I'm not even paying attention to the people. I got my big rig. I got my big rig on my truck. I just got to weigh like four to five ton. Right? Just manly stuff on the construction Man side. stuff, yes. Yeah, yeah. This looks like somebody who has had to go through hell. You know, like, we talk about the look of death on somebody's face. He's, where they're he's like, settled. He's settled. I have done my shit. I came to this planet, I did something, I put a mark on this planet, and now I can go. He, like, uh, yeah, he, he went about, through hell. He talked about when he was younger, he was in segregated schools, like in his fifth grade. Holy when they, shit. They, you know, so he's like from the deep south, so he had to deal with a lot of racism, and you know, it was hard to get an education. He got into college for like a football scholarship, then got into NASA, yeah, and then just yeah. been chugging away ever since. The thing that I Inspiring. saw from him uh, a lot is that he learns through people. You know, I, uh, I figured him out as consume last. And so yeah. he's always like, I'm always trying to sneak into other rooms and other interviews and other meetings. And, and have conversations. And conversations, yeah. mentors. I'm like, oh, you're doing that consume last thing. Right. Where you're TE, like, you know, going around figuring out the so information. So you consumed shit. Just tell me about it. Yeah, <laughs> That's that. what you do. That. Another thing he says on his interview, I don't have a lot of video of him. You have to go look him up. He talks a lot about the way that he got the project management to work. Is he's like, how can I get as least information as possible? How do I minimize the meetings? I don't need to know everything about everything because think about what he's trying to manage. He's like, hey, if you come in here with that whole fucking suitcase as a sleep last ENTP and start running your mouth for eight hours, I don't got time for the next guy. Right. So the type I worked him out to be is uh, audio, ISTJ, blast sleep, play, consume last week. Kind of like a Ty Lopez type. But SI. But, but with SI. So he's actually getting the 67 steps done. That's the thing. Oh, so we need to talk about how much we see the SIs in an arena for a really long time building. They are the ones that absolutely dominate. They do things that you're just like, how the hell it's did Tom you... Cruise. It's, yes. it's Tom Cruise with like decades worth of work. Putting in the hours. It, it feels like the ISTJ can kind of get the head start, say on the INTJ. Because like, I organize my garage. The INTJ is like, shit, how'd you do that? I yeah. can't get jars to work. And then, the, <laughs> and then the NI can kind of like, I figured out a business model. Yeah. And then the SI is like, oh yeah, I launched a fucking satellite. I went on to college. Uh, actually, probably not have gone to college. Again, part of the, the challenge. Uh, I went on a football scholarship. And so that's what kind of set me on my way. I forget exactly how I ended up at NASA, but I've been with NASA uh, over 32 years. I rarely applied for a job, for a new job. Normally someone would say, I think you ought to go do this or go leave that. As I started my career, I, I would see people in action. Uh, and I said, geez, I really like the way that person makes decisions. So I like the way that person asks questions. So in some cases, you, you try to emulate a little bit from each person. 
In other cases, uh, you'd send an email to catch someone after meetings, say, hey, you've got a minute, I'd like to chat, and you build a relationship. Right. And then I had a lot of mentors, uh, which I didn't even refer to them that way back then, but people I looked up to and I would go pick their brains. Uh, there were not a lot of people around in my family or otherwise uh, who had the kind of careers that we're talking about here. Right. And so sometimes when you can't see it, it's hard to be it, right? The, the Ty Lopez cheat code, just I got stuff to do and I'll just go ask the guy who's doing it. Uh, so, so just to kind of get into the detail a little bit of like how insane this is, let me just play the clip. NASA built a custom shipping container called STARS, which would protect the telescope Stars, during its it. journey <laughs> and act as a mobile clean room. The instruments on web are so sensitive that even a speck of dust or a fingerprint could cause serious Don't touch damage it, Brenda. This container was so clean that no more than 100 particles, much smaller than the width of a human hair, could be present inside the container. Each nut filters. and bolt on the container was inspected with ultraviolet light to reveal any unwanted contaminants. Is, is Only once it was perfectly clean could web right? be loaded into yeah, the container. <laughs> this process took nearly a month, as the telescope had to be carefully folded into its launch configuration like a giant piece of origami. That, that's impossible. Nobody can do that. You can't do that. <laughs> Hold on, let me go back to this. Now, so, okay, guy, the camera's on. Make it look like you're looking for dust. Okay, so hold on, let me do this side to side. No, I'm looking. I'm looking. So look at how, this little guy up here. Like, how the hell would you physically actually do all this and actually get it done? But that, this makes so much sense to me that you would have to have somebody, just like, so, like the movies that Tom Cruise does, how the hell do you get that much done? Because my OE brain would be like, next. Like, I just, yeah. well, I don't want to spend this time stacking in the physical universe. I'm not patient and, and, enough for and that. And mine would literally be like, hey, we need a 3 h screw to fit this right here. I'm like, done. Oh, out. I'm going to fucking Berg hardware. I don't, I don't know. It's fucking Saturday. I don't know how to get this. Like, ah, the project right. stalls out. Despite being about three times larger than Hubble's mirror, Webb's oh. mirror only had a fraction of the mass. But in order to construct these perfectly polished mirror segments, they okay. had to make 14 stops at 11 locations all across the U.S. Hell, I got time the first journey started in the mountains of Utah, where the beryllium powder was mined and shipped to Ohio, where it was oh. purified and turned into individual mirror blanks. Then the blanks were sent to Alabama, where each one was machined into a honeycomb structure to reduce mass. The next destination was California, where the mirrors were polished to the exact shape perhaps the most crucial part of the process. Okay, so a big thing I'm learning in life, watching this guy, watching the project management here, watching what Greg's had to go through, watching what Tom Cruise goes through, is I'm allowing myself in my worldview to be down for a week, for two weeks, for three weeks. It's like, what are you waiting yeah. on? Oh, I'm waiting on the uh, gold polished glass mirrors that I had <laughs> done in the fucking salt mines. They're all done wrong. <laughs> right. I mean, of course we had to do them three or four times. It's 13 years just waiting for these fucking things to bounce around the country. And so it's like, oh, I don't have a spot in my worldview that I'm working on something that takes, let's say, two years. Yeah. And the majority of that time is just sitting, sitting around waiting. Right. But you know, you make fun of construction crews. They're like, well, we're waiting for the concrete guy to come back because he came back last week and he poured it wrong. We got to cut it and do it all over Start again. Start all over again. And that's fucking normal. Yes. And like the stress of like wanting to blow your brains out of like, I can't take this anymore, like right. gets most people out. And, and Greg and Tom Cruise are like, I'll stick with it. If you're not ready for the patience game of something, you just really fuck yourself over. Like getting sick this week, I got sick this week. So I'm like, oh my God, like I had like three things that I was like building, working on, building, working yeah, on, right, building. Right. And like all of them are just like absolutely paused out. And it just feels like you just want to be like, ah, and you always say the phrase, don't win for today, win for the year. Win right. for the week, win for the month, win for and, the year. And these guys are doing like decades. I know. After this, the segments made several trips across the country, undergoing years of <coughs> testing to check that they were polished correctly. On the ninth journey, the mirror segments traveled to New Jersey, where gold was evaporated over them inside of a vacuum chamber to form a very thin coating. After some more testing, the mirror segments ended up in Maryland, where they were assembled together and attached to the main instrument module. After years of even more testing, the telescope arrived in Redondo Beach, where it was finally attached to its enormous sunshield. 17 years after the first mirror segment had been produced, James Webb was now ready to make its last journey on Earth. 17 years, and I love, I love it just like, oh, by the way, this isn't hard enough. So what's the last thing we gotta do? Oh, I think we gotta evaporate gold and lay it, like, of course. This is all great, I love all the How observer How do you evaporate shit. gold? Where do you get the gold? <laughs> Speaking of observership. Who evaporates gold? Finding a positivity for your last function is one of the greatest ways to start respecting it and wanting it and needing it in your life, because you're like, oh shit, I can see that not having that in my life is messing me up. I know that the lead NEs have a really hard time with like, why the hell to respect that SI? Not all of them. Some of them have finally found their Who? like respect for Show it. Show me one. Those that have SI, that are using it right, that are actually spent spending time and building with it and not freaking themselves out and building something in physical reality using SI right, you know? Get your identity right, then you can actually fucking use your SI. But using SI right is the only way that they got the telescope to then get 
more possibilities, more information, more understanding. It was that but physical you're, you're SI. such the bad guy for 30 years. I know. Just funding, billions of dollars, rules. delays, rules, Put regulations. your fucking mask back on, Betty. Stop being a bitch. Get right. to work all the time. Like the amount of stuff that they have to control in order to get you're just, all that you're new. You're hated while you're doing it. Right. Uh, that's such a good setup because the last clip was with Neil who's always kicking the ass of the controlling people and the SIs and the school uh. systems and NASA and the corporation. And then he's all yibby skibby fucking happy when an SI built something for him 30 years later. <laughs> really good. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the first image from the James Webb Space Telescope. And here it is. Uh, galaxies to the edge oh of time. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. And so it forms <laughs> arcs that make a circular pattern around the center of the image. There's a lot going on here. Oh my gosh. Just congratulations to NASA, the thousands of scientists, engineers, Northrop Grumman, and everybody else oh, who made this them. real, <laughs> bringing the universe down to Earth. <laughs> they got the Annie down to the SI. 